Is the CAC sticker dead? Will CAC become the next top coin grading company? Is PCGS and NGC in trouble with this new news from CAC? We try to answer all those questions in this video. We hope you enjoy. So on October 13, 2022, John Albanese and CND Coin Exchange sat down for an interview to talk about their new CAC coin grading service. CoinWorld also released an article highlighting a few things from that interview and a few things that John has said. We're going to cover all those things in this video, but if you guys want to see exactly what was said, there are links down in the description below. So the biggest question that I've been asked and a lot of other coin dealers have been asked is, will the CAC sticker be phased out over time? And the short answer is yes, because over time when they start to grade raw coins and move away from stickering coins, uh, they're going to want to focus more on that part of their brand and the stickers aren't really going to serve the use that they used to have. And like I said, we're going to speak a little bit about that later in this video. So for a short backstory, CEC opened up about 15 years ago, and what they wanted to do is judge the merits of each coin, either in an NGC or PCGS slab. Some coins they sent in weren't so great, they didn't receive a sticker. Some received a sticker or a green bean because it, it was exemplary for the grade. It was pretty good, um, kind of the top of its class, if you may. And then they put a gold sticker on some coins if it exceeded that grade. Uh, at the beginning, it was almost like a small distinction on top of the slab, and now the premiums have risen to all new heights. And that brings us to today, the day the sticker ends. Here's exactly what John said about the sticker and the new service coming to CAC. In 2023, CAC is going to be prioritizing grading coins over prioritizing stickering coins. Or in John's words, he doesn't want stickering to cannibalize the business and he would rather have 10% of what he used to have in terms of stickering coins. The way he's going to decrease the amount of coins to evaluate for stickers is raising the prices for these coins and these services. But to keep CAC members as a priority, John and his team wants to give out members original stickering prices for 20 coins in 2023, just to keep people a little bit at ease when moving into CAC grading coins. In this interview, John also focused a lot on calibration with his world-class graders. And basically what that means is that he wants to develop grading sets so that people don't lose their edge in the grading room. And it creates a lot more of a consistent type of grading for their customers. You ever run into a conversation at a coin show or when you're talking to a collector that you know, oh, this coin's undergraded, PCGS doesn't know what they're doing. Oh, this coin, it's not cleaned, NGC doesn't know what they're doing. And a lot of times we don't know how to combat that, but I think that what John's trying to do in this situation is to create these grading sets, but also create calibration with his world-class graders to ensure that people get the best quality service and keep the same type of strictness as CAC has been keeping with stickers. If you guys want CAC coins, kushcollectibles.com. I think the ultimate goal and what John's trying to accomplish by pushing out this new coin grading service is that he wants everybody in his company to be on the same page. Which coin is great for the grade? Which coin is cleaned? How should we grade this coin? Um, and so he's getting a lot of different approaches in the space. I know that Seth Chandler talked a little bit about him going there and going to sticker coins. I think he's just trying to get everybody in the same room and trying to make sure that this service is well put together before it launches in 2023. And what he was talking about a little bit with his business model is that there's a lot of the bigger coins that are already in holders. So the million dollar coins, the $500,000 coins, a lot of those have been discovered. A lot of those have had auction records. They're in PCGS holders. A lot of them are cacked. And so I think what he was trying to say is that this business model with certifying raw coins is that he wants to insert himself into the $500 value coins and below because there's so many of them out there, and also you have to pay so much sometimes to get those coins not only graded, but also stickered. So a great thing that he's doing is basically moving into the coin grading space because everything can be done at CAC. And due to the notoriety of CAC, there's so many people out there that want their coins graded by them because of the premiums that they fetch currently in this marketplace. And I think that CAC knows what they're doing, and it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in 2023. And the question is, what really gave them the notoriety? What really gave them the elevation in the space over PCGS and NGC? What's giving them that competitive advantage? 
And what I was talking about before was basically how strict that they were with stickering coins and how that's basically going to transfer to coin grading. And the reason why they're going to have that competitive advantage is because NGC primarily and PCGS a lot of, let a lot of stuff through and CAC isn't going to do the same. And so when you see a coin in a CAC holder, you're going to understand that it was taken care of and was magnified in terms of all of its flaws and it's going to be graded as such. And that really is what gave them the, the advantage before, right? Like if you were talking about a coin that wasn't stickered and a coin that was stickered, people sometimes are willing to pay double for that coin just because of that sticker. So I think that maintaining that strictness with coin grading will really help them and actually elevate their business even more because that was their original business model. Another great feature about CEC and the rollout for coin grading is that if your coin in a different slab, so say your coin was in PCGS slab or NGC slab, it was stickered. If you sent that into CAC today, basically they would cross that coin and it would have them same grade at CAC. So basically what this means is that they're converting the sticker into a slab. And so I think that with bigger coins, even though that they're trying to market to the cheaper coins, over time there's gonna be a lot of collectors that move their coins over from a PCGS CAC slab to a CAC slab because it's going to have more value, like I said, in the marketplace. So the question is, will CAC sticker coins increase in value even more so? So the coins that have stickers now, will they continue to increase in value or will they decrease in value? In my opinion, I believe they will increase more in value. Uh, if, if many collectors and dealers want to cross to CAC over time, uh, many stickers will just disappear. They won't be on the market. And if CAC phases out CAC stickers towards the end of 2024, the slabs with stickers are finite. There's, they're numbered. It's not going to be around for very much longer. Um, and what essentially is happening is that they're weeding out the CAC sticker coins from both sides of the market. If they're not going to produce any more uh, CAC stickers for coins that are in different holders, and then also there's that crossing feature, I think we can see a dramatic decrease in the amount of coins that will be stickered and with that price hike as well, there's no telling how many CAC sticker coins will be out in the market, I would say, in the next five years. So it's kind of an interesting topic. What do you guys think down below? Another angle to also look at this at is that if you are in the space and you're collecting CAC coins, CAC's reputation is only going to grow. And so if what we do is, you know, we collect rattlers, we collect rattlers with CAC stickers because, you know, it's a... Tough coin already to find in Rattler, but also it is CAC approved. And so as their brand and reputation increases even more, I think these CAC stickers are going to become more and more expensive. And right now I'm seeing people that are selling CAC stickers left and right because they think the premium's too high. And right now I think CAC is just at the beginning of where they want to be as a brand, and that ultimately will increase the values of CAC stickers. Another theory or question that many people might have is that will CAC graded coins dilute the CAC brand? And the simple answer is yes and no. So before CAC and the CAC coin and grading announcement, stickering coins was just a much smaller operation, right? You would send in the coins you thought were the best of the best, and some of them stickered, some of them didn't. Some of them got gold stickers, which was great. I think over time, there's going to be so many CAC graded coins out there that it's, it's going to be almost a mass amount of grading that it's almost going to influx the market so much that I think it might dilute grading um, and I think that it might have an impact on the premiums of these coins. If they're going to be grading modern coins, if they're going to be grading raw coins from everywhere, if they're going to be crossing coins, I think it's going to be much different than what we've seen before because before they only had really the best of the best and they stickered the best of the best. and the market spoke for those because there wasn't so many stickers out there as there will be slabs. But once again, I think the saving grace is their business model and how strict they are at grading coins and stickering coins. You know, if we take a look at what they're talking about with calibration, taking a look about how they sticker coins to begin with, people are going to want to pay for that strictness. People are going to want to pay for that standard that's a little bit higher than PCGS and NGC. And I think that over time, it's going to increase this is almost like a reset to me. I feel like in 2007 when they started, CAC stickers were almost a little bit of an added on bonus to coins. And now towards the end of 2022, they're fetching crazy premiums. Stickers mean so much. 
And I think that at the beginning of this kind of process with grading coins, you're going to start to see so many out there that are graded that it's going to kind of dilute the brand. But like I said, over time, the strictness and the, the collector demand for cat coins is going to only increase. And that was where the premiums are going to explode. And they're also going to pass up NGC and PCGS. So as you guys seen, this announcement is huge. It's going to be like an earthquake through the coin industry. What do you guys think about this move from CAC? How do you think it will impact the industry? And what are you guys going to be doing? Are you going to be sending coins into CAC for coin grading? Let us know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts, like I said, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.